Despite being from Sweden and growing up there, I'd never heard about this concept called Swedish death cleaning. So I called my 82 year old granddad to try to figure some things out about this thing called death cleaning or dust standing as we call it in Swedish. So Swedish death cleaning has existed for a very long time, but not really as how we know it today. According to my granddad, dust standing is something Swedish people do when they get really old or even after they die. So what you would do as an older Swedish person, you would either call your family or a firm to come and pick up all the stuff you no longer use and they can have it instead of having to figure that out after you're dead. So very practical and very Swedish, but not necessarily minimalist. But the Swedish death cleaning trend that's all over social media is a bit different from this historic one. So what this essentially is, is a new method inspired by the old and it was created by Swedish artist Margareta Magnusson. Margareta wrote the book The Gentle Art of Swedish Death Cleaning and it became an instant success. Her method means that you organize your life now, not when you're old or when you're dying. And one of my favorite things that she says is that if you don't feel motivated to organize your life now, you should really do it only because the people who will have to look after those things after you're gone. And this really is such a realistic and truthful motivator for minimalism and not keeping stuff you don't need because at the end, someone will have to deal with it. So how do you do this Swedish death cleaning? Well, Margareta says she always starts by asking herself, will this item make me or someone else happy? So it's very similar to the KonMari method created by Marie Kondo. And the first key point is that anyone can do it. So age doesn't matter, but Margareta suggests that if you're 50, you should definitely start your death cleaning now. And what I also really like is that she talks about this method to improving and organizing your life so you can live a better life now. The second point is to do this slowly. In the book, Margareta emphasizes that this is a slow lifestyle change and it shouldn't be a goal you can complete. So although we can declutter and organize our lives, this doesn't become a lifestyle change unless we stop buying new stuff and actually consider how we declutter. Number three is careful consideration. This means carefully considering what items you'd like to leave behind. Number four is a different one, but this one is embarrassing things. What this really is, is that if you have any embarrassing things that may hurt someone you love, you should really get rid of them now rather than they figuring it out after you're dead. Number five, and I also really like this point, is to tell your family and friends. Not telling them that you're dying, but telling them that you are death cleaning. Margareta says that the reason you should do this is that so you make sure that everyone knows this is your responsibility and not theirs. Number six is be reasonable. This is a super Swedish and logical point, but this means going through the items in a clever way that makes sense. So instead of starting with things you have emotional attachment to, like photographs or old memories, start with something very simple, like your wardrobe or maybe your garage. Number seven, and this is my favorite point, is to give things as gifts. So next time, for example, you go to a dinner party, instead of giving flowers, you can give a few of your old books. Especially books, even if they're used, can be such a good gift to give away, and especially if they look a bit antique or vintage. I love reading, so I used to have quite a big library, but I had to give them all away because I'm moving countries so much and they're not so easy to take with me. So I used to give books as gifts and I used to write little notes in them, which make them a really sweet gift. Number eight is a Swedish quote that's not super easy to translate into English, but it's something like one man's treasure. The literal translation of the Swedish quote is treasure for someone, burden for someone else. And what this really means is that when you clean out, you should consider the items that are a burden for you to absolutely not keep them, and also the items that can be a burden for someone else once you're gone, not keeping them either. Number nine is a fun one, and that is to reward yourself. Rewarding yourself for all the hard work is really, really important, but not by stuff, of course. So instead, reward yourself by going to the cinema or having a nice meal or any fun experience you can think of. So Swedish death cleaning or minimalism. I'm not sure what this is, but I really, really like the idea of the new Swedish death cleaning. I know firsthand how difficult it is cleaning out the apartment or the space of someone you loved and going through all their things. It can really be heartbreaking. So I really love the idea of people taking responsibility for their items and belongings before they're dead. And taking responsibility for your stuff and death cleaning and organizing is also the best reminder of impermanence. And impermanence is such an important thing to learn and it's something really important to consider because it really helps us with our happiness and how to understand the world. So no matter your age, I think you can start your death cleaning today. I know I've definitely started and it's very fun to know all the things you have and not have anything in storage and things you don't know where they are, but having everything in order. This was such a fun video to make. Thank you so much for watching and thank you to the subscriber who suggested this video. I love making a video about something that's so close to my heart because I am Swedish, but I rarely talk about my cultural heritage and I really, really enjoy it. It was also very fun to get to call my granddad who didn't understand at all why anyone would be interested in the Swedish death cleaning. <laughs> I'd love to hear your thoughts what you think about this concept of Swedish death cleaning, so please leave them down below and don't forget to subscribe because it really helps the channel. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you next week. Bye bye!